We left off with Coco Chanel managing to escape her alleged activity with the Nazi and renegotiating her cut of the profits of Chanel No. 5 that made her one of the richest women in the world. So what was next for Chanel No. 5? Marilyn Monroe. The blonde bombshell was a perfume aficionado who once sagely said, There are no women who do not like perfume. There are women who have not found their scent. And what a scent she found. When asked in an interview for Life magazine in 1952, what she wore to bed, Marilyn Monroe famously replied, Five drops of Chanel No. 5. I don't want to say nude, but it's the truth. And these iconic words really sealed the fate for the perfume. Chanel No. 5 was soon everywhere, even in drugstores. It was coveted by other famous people of the era as well, including Lucille Ball and Andy Warhol, both of whom I've also done videos on, so if you haven't watched those yet, go take a look. In my video on Marilyn Monroe, someone commented that it was interesting that Monroe specifically said the number five, since the number five was such an auspicious number for Coco Chanel. I haven't seen anything about a partnership for that interview, but I do wonder if there was a connection there. The brand went on to use her image, likeness, and words 51 years after her death for a perfume ad in 2013. Chanel herself died in 1971 at the age of 87. In the 70s and 80s, the brand hit a bit of a slump from its heyday. It was kind of oversaturated, so they needed to revamp the image. They did this with a series of ads with French actor Catherine Deneuve. In 2004, writing the Moulin Rouge craze, Nicole Kidman, Baz Luhrmann, and Karl Lagerfeld teamed up for a Moulin Rouge-inspired Chanel No. 5 short film that to this day is the most expensive ad ever made. The price tag? 18 million pounds. And then just last year, in 2021, Chanel No. 5 celebrated its centennial. And it's funny because most people that I talk to about this perfume fall into one of two camps. Either it's the classiest perfume ever made and that's all that they wear, or they hate it because it smells like grandma. But if you think about it, it was the perfume of our grandmas and our great grandma's generation. So that does make sense. Perfume preference has changed throughout human history. So the perfumes that are so popular now will one day be antiquated. And that goes for my brand too. And that's okay. Evolution and all that. Thanks so much for joining me on this series about Chanel number no. five. Let me know in the comments what perfume history you'd like to see next. And find the rest of my perfume history videos on my page.